Well, from Smash to Spring Awakening and beyond, Krista Rodriguez brings the magic to stage and screen. Now she's having a ball at Cinderella in the critically acclaimed Broadway production of Into the Woods. And Krista joins me now. Welcome back. Good to see Thank you. Thank you, too. Listen, this is the hottest ticket on Broadway right now. So when they said... We really want you to join the cast and be Cinderella. Like, yeah. What was your reaction? Oh to my that? gosh! I was actually on my way to the airport. I had a suitcase in hand, and I just was like, I can't believe I'm gonna just turn around and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, get back. But it was so exciting. You know, the last time I was on Broadway was seven years ago, oh. and I had been doing so much theater before that and then we shut down so it's just a joy to be able to come back and be a part of uh, the resurgence of Broadway. It's but so seven years off mm -hmm. being on the stage yes does it does it come with like a, a renewed kind of nervous energy absolutely right. and you have to be kind of conditioned you know it's almost yeah. athletic and so I'm a little out of shape so, <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I so the nerves come with that a little bit but then as soon as you're up there and the applause happens you remember you that remember it's your home amazing it is. Yeah. yeah and it's such a star-studded cast I mean they're calling all of you the musical theater Avengers <laughs> so what is it like just getting to play with the, this group of people every night well it's so amazing because I've been in the industry for a while and this cast is full of people I've known for 20 years and have oh, nice. never worked together. Yeah. So we're getting to ex explore being co-stars, which is so great. And there's some great friends. I've known them for so long and grown up with them. So it's, it's really, really exciting. To, someone came and saw the show and they said, it's just great to see these skilled actors playing ball. We just are yes. like, we're just throwing That's it for the I've swinging for the fences it and it's, it's fun. Like, yeah, and you can feel that energy in there. And I heard that you only had like two weeks of rehearsal, which yeah. <laughs> that's not easy with Sondheim. No, it's not. It is really, it's a lot of words it's intricate yes it is yeah it was like you know fortunately and I didn't even know the show some people grew up with it so I had to learn a lot of it and fortunately everyone before us had also gone through this very fast process yeah so when we would come in looking bewildered or shell-shocked or pale they're like you're exactly where you're supposed we're to be okay. in yeah. three days you're gonna be feeling totally different so you know we made it we made it through <laughs> well I heard that you said when I met Cinderella there were things she had to, I knew there were things she had to teach me yes what did she teach you well, this, the trajectory of this particular Cinderella is so amazing because she's sort of been, uh, her life has sort of happened to her and she doesn't know how to stand her ground and make a decision. And then she gets into that moment where she realizes I'm in charge of my life and I want to make my own choices. And I think that's so inspiring for women to see that. And I, yeah. I'm ready for that to encounter my life again. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and you, uh, the Tony Awards just posted a picture of you and the cast of Spring Awakening yes. before you performed. Yes. Uh, and now it's it's available on streaming and uh -huh. everything. But you've played so many great characters. I'm just curious, like, which of the characters that you've played have never left you or, like, were so important to you that it's just something that you keep now forever? Yeah. Well, ironically, it was Spring Awakening because I was in the original company and I understudied the character of Ilsa. And then when the revival happened seven years later, I got to play that part, which is something that I would have never have thought because you just leave those things behind. But yeah. she always stayed with me, and I was so honored to be able to play that. So, you know, I don't think I'll ever be able to play it again because I'm a little too old now, but oh I'm, I'm so grateful I got to revisit it twice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I heard that um, you really enjoyed playing Liza Minnelli, too, which is sure like <laughs> a challenge. That is a really hard yes. person to play. Yes. Because everyone knows her. Yes. It was incredibly difficult. And also, I, from the theater background, everyone in the theater knows her. Some people really know, knew her yeah. personally, yeah. you know, and when she was working on Broadway. So you want to be able to come home to your theater people and have them say, good job, you represented us well. So that was weighing on me a lot the whole time. Because that's pressure. Yeah. Sure. Yes. That's all yeah, it was but a and lot. And it's still streaming, too, on Netflix Yes, right on now, Netflix. Too, Halston. So you can see Halston mm -hmm. yeah. on Netflix. We can see you all over the place, but we should really be seeing you on stage. <laughs> stage. You can catch Krista in Into the Woods playing now at the St. James Theater. Thanks so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Yeah.